Did it hit. You didn't win the jackpot. You'll definitely win some raindrops later this afternoon. All right, 90% chance of that. Remnants of Willa pretty much moving through Mexico right now. Made landfall yesterday as a hurricane, and that's what's going to send a surge of moisture our direction. This morning, you are waking up to cloudy skies, mostly dry conditions for the morning commute. It's this afternoon and evening, a washout. So heavy rain between 2 and 10 p.m. tonight. Widespread amounts between 1 to 3 inches of rain, clearing by tomorrow afternoon with a good or just forecast this weekend 60s this morning upper 60s this afternoon so Doug umbrellas and jackets once again okay thank you cheetah for your rush block traffic we're checking out the east loop southbound there are delays if you're coming off of the east freeway i-10 just south of there they're going to take you down to one lane due to a crash that happened just about an hour ago at this point they're still working to clear that out of the way you may want to take the beltway instead if that's an option for you northbound on the east Tex freeway all those lanes are still shut down as well just north of umble where there was an earlier fatal incident Incident, an auto pedestrian incident that remains under investigation. For the most part, your travel times elsewhere, nice and green still rush hour. Not quite here yet, guys. Thank you, Doug. Michelle Choi continues our rush block now with some breaking news from overnight. Two teenagers injured in separate shootings. One of the boys did not survive. Michelle, the one uh, who did survive, was just 16 years old, we understand. Yeah, that's right, guys. Just 16 years old, as you mentioned. Unfortunately, it's been a busy night for Houston police now investigating two very violent cases involving teens. Now, the scene I'm at right now is where the most recent shooting happened here at Garden Oaks Apartments on Royal Palms at Griggs in Southeast Houston, where that 16 year old was shot. Now, just moments ago, his dad was here talking to investigators. We don't know much, but police say just before midnight, they found that boy lying on the ground outside the apartment. His dad tells us he doesn't live here. We also don't know why he was here. He's now in the hospital in critical condition. Police don't think he'll survive. And just a couple hours earlier, an 18 year old was shot and killed at an apartment complex on West Fuquay in Southwest Houston. Witnesses say it appeared the victim was running away from someone before he was shot several times. And guys, at this time, investigators don't have suspects and they also don't have a motive on either case. Live in Southeast Houston, Michelle Choi, KHOU 11 News. A massive fire sent flames ripping through this tire shop off of Cavalcade overnight. Firefighters say they believe that the fire started after a shop employee fell asleep with a space heater on. They got that employee out. He was taken to the hospital for minor smoke inhalation and firefighters kept the blaze from spreading to nearby homes and businesses. Standing for Houston, Janelle Ford, KHOU 11 News. Now, thank you. Your rush block continues with the day's other big stories, starting with the bus crash in Freeport that killed a plant worker. 29 year old Aaron Green from Dayton died when the bus flipped into a ditch. 30 other workers from the Zachary Group LNG plant were hurt. Police say the bus was headed from the plant to a parking lot when it crashed. President Trump now slamming the Saudis over the death of journalist Jamal Khashoggi. The cover up was horrible, the execution was horrible, but they should have never been at an execution or a cover up because it should have never happened. The White House is revoking the visas of 21 Saudi officials accused in the killing. The Saudis maintain Khashoggi was not the target of an assassination plot. Early reports of damage and blackouts in Mexico as Hurricane Willa moves inland. It made landfall on the Pacific coast as a Category 3 storm and has weakened overnight. Another day of record turnout for early voting. More people voted in Harris County on day two than on day one. Our KHOU 11 political analyst says the U.S. Senate race is energizing voters. What I'm beginning to see is an increased turnout among voters who had not voted in the general election. And that's particularly true for Democrats. The last day of early voting is next Friday, November 2nd. And that is your Rush Block. Let us know what's happening in your world. Just tweet us using the hashtag HTownRush.